this week's Extra Life on F5 Live is proudly powered by EXA. Uh, EXA brings the latest technology to gamers, offering the most immersive products for the ultimate gaming experience. They've compiled the best elements of cutting-edge ENC tech, the latest in Bluetooth 5.0 and 7.1 surround sound, plus extra features like dual mics and low latency uh, into their headsets so everyone can enjoy a sensational gaming experience. And they've got headsets for Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, and PC, plus they won't, won't break the bank. Learn more about the headsets that are available and any current promotions that are going on by going to f5live.tv slash exa. I have to say real quick, uh, if you've watched the last couple of weeks, you'll notice that the company name is now spelled right above Abram's head. I fixed that while Abram was talking in the last segment. Uh, <laughs> in a bit of a panic move. Anyway, <laughs> um, so... We've talked about Blizzard recently. Uh, they've been in a bit of chaos. Uh, the purchase by Microsoft may or may not go through based on regulators. Um, but they've got a lot of stuff in the pipeline. We know uh, Diablo 4 is in the works. Um, but it's all about Overwatch 2 right now. Um, the company decided to do the same thing that Microsoft did uh, with Halo Infinite and split the PvP out from the uh, single player campaign so that they could bring the PvP to market faster. Uh, when it comes to Overwatch, honestly, for most people, it's about the, the multiplayer anyway. So it does make sense. Uh, the timeline was definitely screwed up on this because of, uh, because of lockdowns and you know all the development delays that went along with the chaos happening over at Blizzard HQ, uh, but the good news is that the PvP has been in alpha within the company uh, for a little while now, and next month, a public-ish uh, beta of the, the Overwatch 2 PvP will be coming uh, to Battle.net, which is a good step, right? That That's a sign that they're confident... <laughs> In the gameplay, they want to see a first round of play. And it's really kind of the first big thing to happen in the Blizzard world since all the chaos uh, came to light last year. The company pretty much said, whoop, timelines are changing. We don't know what's going to happen next. So everybody just hold on because we don't know what's happening next. Um, and so it's, it's good to see there is a next step. There is... Something coming out of the studio now. Um, and it's in w possibly their top franchise right now. Have you... Uh, well, have you, that's good. Have, have you had the opportunity to play any Overwatch? No, I, I have not played... I have not... I have must admit, I have not played Overwatch. Uh, we seem to be all Minecraft around here. I don't... I don't particularly play Minecraft, but I've been playing Minecraft Dungeons, which is more of like a 3D, mm -hmm. uh, like a, not 3D, uh, top-down Diablo-style game, which is okay. more uh, more my speed. Sure. But, uh, I mean, I know I know it's quite a popular game. A lot of folks at work play it. So it's good that it's good that we're providing, that they're providing a way for more people to, for people to get a taste of the new game and, it, it, you're right. It is a different experience when you're playing a PvP game than when you're playing uh, when you're playing campaign. Yeah. So they might as well sure. be different games. Right. And and you know they they wanted to get the PvP out to market. And Alante, if you want to come talk about it, this is his game. Uh, you're Ooh. welcome to. Uh, he's like, I should have been on for this one. I've played way too much Overwatch. Yeah, come talk about it. Uh, <laughs> I will stand up and you can have my chair. Uh, and it's true. Um, you know, when it comes to Overwatch, it really is about the PvP, right? Um, that's that's the market. And I tried to play uh, the, the first one without people. <laughs> and it kept going, hey, this is more fun with people. No, I don't want to play with people. <laughs> 
I'm generally not an online multiplayer person. I'm fine playing against computers. And it's like, no, more fun online. This is just training mode. Uh. <laughs> um, so, so, I mean, their whole focus has been PvP. So, you know, it definitely makes sense to split them into two to get the PvP out to market first. They can reshift some resources inside inside the company to get the PvP out. Um, so definitely looking forward to, uh, to, to seeing the game in action. Um, like Alante said, he has played way too much Overwatch, and I have watched him play way too much Overwatch. Uh, <laughs> it is interestingly, like, so I know, I know we have people watching on Twitch. I'm watching the stats. I see we have people watching on Twitch. I generally don't watch people play games, but I can pl watch people play Overwatch. I don't know why. It's fascinating to watch. Um, so that adds an interesting aspect to it too, right? They, they're going to get additional exposure to the title <laughs> by putting the PvP out because I guarantee the moment it's available <laughs> uh, for, for beta, um, it's going to be the top game on Twitch. <laughs> no no doubt in my mind it'll be the top game on Twitch. So that'll yeah, be fun well, to watch. Yeah, that 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 will be cool. I mean, obviously that's gonna that's going to be it's going to have its moment in the sun. Like I think the last few weeks Elden Ring has had its moment in the sun. Yeah. So um Alante says it's which means he's not going to come take my chair. It's really colorful, really fast, and fairly unique. I think that's why it's fun to watch. Yeah, that makes sense. And everybody has Ooh. tried to clone it, right? Everybody has tried to clone it. Uh, and nobody has been able to touch it. Because it is, it is unique. Um, so, I look forward to seeing how they... How they make a second game a second game, right? And not just DLC for the first game, right? That when, when it comes to this style of gameplay, it's, it's hard to make it a second game. I know how um, uh, Splatoon has done it. I've watched, you know, the, the evolution of that game, and they are different games, Um but it'll be interesting to see how they manage to, to pull that off here and not just make it feel like a DLC. Um, so April is when the, uh, the beta will be out. Um, if you want to participate, you've got to go to your Battle.net um, and, and uh, sign in. Go over to the Overwatch page and apply for the beta. Not everybody is going to uh, going to be accepted, so definitely go uh, get in there now. Would my, be my recommendation. I don't know if it's going to be done by lottery, but uh, being at the top of the list is almost never a problem for these types of things. Um, Alante says they're changing the format from six v six to five v five, which I definitely uh, read a lot about. They talked about that they specifically wanted to unclutter the battlefield, I think was the, the specific quote uh, from somebody at Blizzard. Uh, that's going to change the, the gameplay a lot. Um, so, so that'll be interesting. I'm looking forward to the beta. Uh, I will definitely be watching it when it comes out uh, from a couple of our favorite streamers. So we will keep you updated on what's going on. But again, remember, go sign into your Battle.net <laughs> if you want to participate. Hello YouTube, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this episode of F5 Live Refreshing Technology. If you did, please uh, subscribe to the channel down below and of course hit the notification bell because we know that subscriptions don't mean much on YouTube anymore. Uh, if you've got topics that you'd like us to talk about in the future, please uh, comment them down below. And if you'd like to not follow us on YouTube, there's lots of ways that you can follow along with our content by going to plughitslive.com slash subscribe. There you'll see all of our shows and all of the ways that you can watch, listen, and follow along.